Head of Climate Change Unit at the Forestry Commission, Robert Bamfo, says Ghana is on course to vigorously pursue actions to implement one of the most important mechanisms for climate change mitigation. Communities and traditional authorities have been identified as major stakeholders in the implementation process. The National Red Plus Readiness Preparation Proposal, RPP, aims to assist Ghana to prepare itself and become ready for full implementation of the reduced emissions from deforestation and forest degradation. I must say that negotiations on Red Plus is far advanced in the sense that we had a decision in COP13 in Bali in 2007, and Red Plus was introduced in the UNFCCC negotiations in 2005. Within the space of two years, we were able to get a decision for Red Plus, and this was in Bali. Red Plus was included in the Bali Action Plan, which actually encourages parties to support capacity building the provision of technical assistance and the facilitation of technology transfer to red countries. The Red Plus is an initiative which provides opportunities for developing countries like Ghana to manage forest resources in a more responsible and sustainable manner and get financial support from developed countries to do this through the World Bank. According to Mr. Banfo, there are ongoing engagements with stakeholders to get input for the formulation of the National Red Plus strategy, which is key to determine Ghana's readiness to implement the mechanism. The developing countries also want negotiations in the AWGKP to result in new emission reduction targets for Annex 1 countries so that we can still have our market and uh, non-market mechanisms um, ongoing. In Ghana, most local communities live in forest areas and have traditional links to their lands. They are users and managers of forest land and resources. Hence, they face specific challenges as a consequence of climate change and related policy measures. Ghana therefore needs to demonstrate capacity in the areas of technical monitoring and accounting for forest carbon emissions. Ghana is among the countries in the world fighting climate change by signing the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, which has been in force since 1994.